this presentation is all about this uh, island called Preservation Island and Rum Island. The islands were basically named that through the wreck of a ship called the Sydney Cove. The Sydney Cove wasn't actually wrecked on rocks or anything there, it was beached there because it was damaged so much from storms, it was sinking. Sydney Cove being the eighth oldest ship known in Australian waters to be found um, from 1797. Sydney Cove wasn't uh, discovered again even though it was documented where it was beached um, until 1977, 170 years from when it was beached there. Basically, the story goes, um, the ship was manned by 50 men crew. Um, when they landed, because they had a large cargo of rum, the captain decided to shift the rum over onto Rum Island, a separate island from preservation, to protect it from the crew plundering the rum. And then 17 men were sent off in the longboat to go and get help. Um, these men only actually made it as far as 90 mile beach on the Victoria coast. They crossed the uh, Bass Strait and lost their boat there in bad weather. So from there they uh, walked all the way the 600 miles up to Sydney or Port Jackson then uh, on foot. Aborigines did, did help in different areas um, as the different tribes they went through some didn't bother some attacked. In the end only three men survived out of all this um, but they did get help and a ship was sent back down to pick up the rest of the survivors which were living on preservation. Um, they had uh, salvaged a lot off the original ship to build shelters and um, survive. Well, not much can be seen on this island now obviously. Uh, It's a very low-lying uh, pair of islands, uh, not a lot of shelter, but it's one piece of paradise which, if you have the chance, should be visited. The waters around are crystal clear, um, a lot of sandy beaches, and uh, the anchorages aren't too bad, they are shallow, um, but they are sand anchors with a lot of grassy weed. I have been told that um, parts of the the old ship's uh, ribs can still be seen. Now I have taken a photo earlier in the video there you'll see uh, which looked a bit odd because it was a straight line. See what you think. Uh, it looks like it could be an old keel and when you look at the photo it looks like ribs coming off and across the keel so it's quite possible that's part of it I'm not sure um, the island these days is uh, not used by much there is someone living on the island further up I don't know what that's about um, I did have a wander up in the island, it looks like it possibly might have been mutton bird uh, roosting colony there. Um, seen a few bodies and things around still. But you can see all the uh, 
burrows and things that have been dug. But it's definitely a place um, I would come back to again. Um, the place being so deserted and so quiet, the actual the silence actually gets to you there because you don't have waves breaking on the shore here. The silence just gets to you and you go, wow. But we'll be back again one day and hopefully spend a, a day or two there if the weather's good. It's got to be good weather there, obviously, as you can see. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative give you an idea what uh, Preservation Island is like. <laughs>